Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, your host with the most, James, here in Brooklyn, New York. And guess what? To my, well, to the recorded, my recorded right, which is camera Somewhere. left. Steve-O, what's up, Steve-O? How you doing? What's up, guys? I'm out here. <laughs> He's right. He's right this time. He's right this time. <laughs> well, I was I'm say, out here just living it up, as you can clearly tell. Steve-O, I just realized your sunglasses match your Hawaiian shirt. How great is that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can't, uh, you can't hate on the guy who wears the ass-eating ass season jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the guy speaking right now, that's not me, right before me, is none other than His Holiness, the Dalai Lama down there. What up, kid? How you doing, man? course banquet it's delicious <laughs> i was drinking those on sunday watching <laughs> wrestlemania words words of wisdom from the dalai lama and now we need it to start to kick this off steve what are we talking about man so i got something cool um i saw some shit today uh early this morning when i was supposed to be doing work um because the entire world is on quarantine uh, there were people that were posting from the northern province of Punjabi, if it's I'm pronouncing it right, in India. Um, they're roughly 100 miles away from the Himalayan mountain chain. And pollution is cut so much there that they can actually see the mountain range when people go on their rooftops or out their apartment windows. So they can actually see that for the first time in 30 years. And like years. people were taking like iPhone pictures and shit. And it's like, we haven't seen this shit in 30 years. Like, look what is happening. Like, this is crazy. The pictures well, are awesome. Well, like, I'll say something sick. about India really quick. Cause I have to do it. You know, I had to do some reports on India this week. They shit and... in their hands. <laughs> well, besides. <laughs> they, do that too. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they eat with the right and they yeah, wipe, wipe with, with the, the left. left. Right, so you know, isn't that why the 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 Muslims cut off your right hand? Because uh, when you steal something, so that means when you you gotta like do everything with the hand, you wipe your ass with. Yeah, you gotta take the dirty hand to eat yeah. for the rest of your life. Isn't that it's, what that is? It's it's, on... it's 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 a it's understandable. <laughs> All right, but yeah, we were rambling. But Continue. but no, the talk talk about India. What really threw me off is that India is the third world's large is the world's third largest gold market, which I didn't know until this week. In gold, the mint. Yeah, I, gold- I would have said like the Persian area, but okay. No, they're number three. Num- <laughs> number number one is China. Number two is the U.S. Number three is India. And I was like, India, number three. Wow, they're saying that their demand in just the past three weeks, in going into this weekend, has fallen a total of seventy nine percent, and it comes down to people not buying because they have the strictest quarantine laws by any government in the world. Where in, yeah. India, in India, if you're taken out, it's technically martial law. The cops have the right to beat, beat the, the crap out of, out of you. Yo. So nobody, literally, there, there, are, there are trucks on the streets that aren't supposed to be there. And if they go out, the cops have the right to pull them out and cane them. They cane yeah, I them. watched videos of it. It was great. Oh, I didn't see any videos. <laughs> I just couldn't believe the details. Oh, it was some so, straight world star hip hop. It was awesome. <laughs> so they said pollution in India, which is normally horrible, well, is yeah. down so much because on a normal traffic day, the traffic oh. on the roads right now is less than 5% of normal. That's how empty the streets of India yeah, are. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I couldn't believe it. And then they said the, the air quality has helped so much like it's made people breathe better and they're thinking about maybe switching over to biofuels and the rest blah 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 oh, maybe well, that's not gonna help <laughs> <laughs> fucking insight to stop polluting everything because that's where all the fucking shit's happening is all those fucking south asians well you got well you got you got actually careful, here's, the, here's, the, here's the here's the biggest reason a lot of their cars are diesel so like and and god forbid they probably don't have a catalytic converter or a catalytic converter to slow down the smog so you could like like either all you see is black smoke bellowing out of the all these fucking vehicles. Mm, even their cars, shit. even their cars are doing that shit. But I thought I thought it was yeah. India. I thought it was like the Flintstones. They use their feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, you seen some of those fucking people? They grow their nails long and shit. Ugh, they oh, you, 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 the water you, 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 and the in it. I guess uh, you saw that episode of what, what was it? Um, back in the day on Fox, they used to have this show. Uh, oh, like, oh, it was the Guinness uh, World Record. It was like, yep, yeah. that bank right there. <laughs> Ew, in, in one of the Jackass movies, they had Steve O lay down and 
he was pouring beer a beer loose down this guy's fingernails. Oh yeah. god. I'll never forget it because the guy looks at the camera and goes, It's just Miller time. And pours Miller Light highlights down oh. the guy's fingers. I was like, oh. Oh, classics, dude. So good. Oh. Oh, well, I miss that show. And it is, you know what? I'm glad that uh pollution is coming yeah, down coming. across the globe. It's good because even here in New York, it's been great. I mean, Oh, it's like when you're able to go out, it's been great because sure, you've been able to breathe. There's about. no smog. <laughs> At least we're not getting caned every time we step out of the apartments. You not, know yet, what I'm not yet, bro. Not yet. My job, because I'm an essential worker, my job, we actually have you're to a print sexual out... worker? Uh, essential. Oh, I wish I was a sexual Ooh. worker. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, <yeah>. I wish. <laughs> Dalai Lama, I, it's never too late, man. I don't think I don't think I meet up to the standards of uh, sexual activity <laughs> or sexual admiration. I would say that's glory hole, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> so glory hole, Kev. What were you talking about about your job in the central worker? For oh yeah, yeah. But so, so we had to print out. We had to print out notices. Uh, so so they say we do get pulled over. I was like, hi, I work for this company. We had to keep all these stores open running and get to go. So I'm driving, have the window down. Fucking great. You could breathe. It's fucking beautiful. I should just chief and cigs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. At least my car, my car's an electric car. So, hey, hey it's, uh, you know, the smoke's got to come from somewhere. Might as well come from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was also going to say, anytime I'm in your car, right. it's a giant pollution asteroid? cloud. Yeah, it's good. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much an asteroid. I, I, it, actually, it actually smells better because I have to Lysol my car. Uh, my, my car. So, I, I, I Lysol oh, everything. So you like, every, your car. Yeah, exactly. Well, so it's good. No, do you, Congratulations. Well, you, you Lysol, do you, is that spray or wipes? Wipes. Wipe it down. Nice. I have to wipe, wipe down both doors, wipe, wipe down the dash, down. wipe down the screen, yeah. wipe down everything. Like, uh, and, then, and then I have to get some, I'm going to get some car shampoo and like, you know, like, like, you know, and get, get, and, you know, do all that stuff. This is fucking talking about detailing. I was going to yeah, say detailing. Yeah, fancy, you, know, fancy. Gotta, you gotta scrub, baby. You gotta scrub it down. Oh, come on, sex worker Kev. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who, who's the guy you're scrubbing down? Yeah, right. <laughs> I gotta scrub down my Chevy. Uh, no, I don't know. Actually, Chevy Volt doesn't sound like it doesn't have any gender to it, well, unfortunately. <laughs> speaking of pollution, this is something that I read two days ago and somebody else was talking about it. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, well, it makes sense. They showed footage of New York city and footage of uh, new Orleans and both cities are relatively empty in the streets. Yeah, because new, or- new Orleans spiked for the coronavirus, but the only thing that's visible in the streets are rats. Yep. Yeah. The rats yep, are taking over, dude. Yeah, and I'm no, actually no, 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 very no, no, no. surprised to see no, no. that the rats are taking, taking over. Yeah. They had, there's no food. Like, uh, remember, exactly. the, remember, remember when the, we had that, we did that story, like, probably, like, a month and a half ago about the monkeys? Same oh, thing. yeah. The Same exact in shit. It. Same exact shit. Dude, like, nobody's in the street to throw shit on the street, so the, the rats that got the neat. So what are the odds that the rats start invading Steve-O's apartment over there in Manhattan? Well, Yo. you guys live in you guys live in Brooklyn. You guys are the most fucked. I don't live in Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in Brooklyn. He's oh, no, in Manhattan. Oh, no, in Brooklyn, Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's well, worse. You guys live in, yeah. He, I I woke up on Tuesday. I go in the bathroom. My you know, I'm brushing. Wait, hold on. I'm brushing my teeth. My contacts in. I go to um, spit the toothpaste into the sink, and there's a fucking cockroach that crawled up the pipes. <laughs> nice. New I York City murdered that bitch with raid. And then I sprayed my entire apartment down. I went not. All right. I've only seen two in the last a year and a half yeah but it you know it's springtime you know, but yeah. it might be bringing back to the fucking rats and rats are running around yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually though, surprised right? the rats aren't eating the cockroaches because they got no food they they'll eat they, it's each other so they eat cockroaches yeah but rats are fucking gross there's like a weird did you see that documentary on netflix called rats? oh rats yeah literally rats oh the fucking well, thing with the boil in its neck. Oh, oh no! The, 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 you know where that boil came from? It came from an insect. That was a bot fly. A bot fly, yeah. So like, and and, and, the, and pretty much like the fucking bot fly, like the fucking insect starts crawling out of the fucking yeah. rat's neck. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's no. fucking gross. Well, I saw the video of the rats in New Orleans, and they were showing the ones in New York. There's always rats in New York, you know. Oh, yeah. But yeah, much. there's more rats than people. Oh, yeah, yep, that's, that's a fact. But yeah. the thing with the the rats in New Orleans is that they were so used to. Oh, the drunkards at night, like myself, when I'd go down there and you drop like a fucking hot dog on the floor, you know, 
or you've got like a sandwich and shits all over the place. Their version of White Castle crystals, you know, it goes all over the floor. Ooh, I've had crystals. Yeah, so the rats have nothing to eat because there's no tourism. There's nobody yeah, on the that's street. True. And they're out there physically. Like you actually saw packs of rats attacking each other over a potato chip, which is insane. So is that an exterminator's wet dream? Like, can we like, <laughs> can we let the exterminators just go out there and just start flamethrowing bitches? You well, would if, think if, so. If, 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 the, if the exterminators are deemed, are deemed essential, hopefully they are. Yeah, but doesn't the, the exterminator also has to get paid to make money? Who's paying yeah. the exterminator? The city, yeah, like, the like, government. Like, like, yeah, they should. As, as, each, as each city's begging for a loan because they're bankrupt. Yeah, because the whole country is. Why not make it like animal control as part of the city and just murk those fucking assholes? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It'd be sick. I thought hey, Dalai Lama was going to say something, yeah. Yeah, hey, James, the, 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 the Vat King is trying to take over the world. We need the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to come back, man. Nice. Ah, that's right. And the Turtles <laughs> and Splinter to beat up the exactly. Rat King. That's my coffee exactly. mug I use every morning is my Ninja Turtles coffee mugs. <laughs> Hell yeah. I forgot about the Rat King. He was got the orange hair and the uh, bandanas all over his face. Yeah, and he's Rapping. the one. Like, his, his fucking vats that's fucking murdered everybody. It's fucking crazy. Oh yeah, I I remember the Rat King well now. I can't believe yeah, he, I remember him. He was like Great like show. three. He, he wasn't. He was like three episodes in the animated series. He wasn't that big of a character. Oh, <laughs> as you can tell, the Dalai Lama watches a lot of cartoons. Still does. I, I do he as do. well. I do. It's really? nice. Love cartoons. <laughs> I love cartoons too, but it's just that you know, I don't remember that uh, the Rat King was in three episodes of the original yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series. All. No, I don't. I, I remember weird shit, so yeah. <laughs> that's totally my my, my problem. <laughs> so Dalai Lama, your final thoughts on the uh, on pollution? Uh, is this the only thing that could, could come out of the this whole quarantine thing? The only good, the, one of the only good things that we have a top three. Oh, I like top three. Top three best things coming out of the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. go for it. Go for top three. So I guess the, the, the pollution thing. Yeah, that's the, that's definitely number one. I think. Okay. What's number What's number two and three? Hmm. My two and three. Uh, it's it, it, you. You actually get to see some celebrities do some of the dumbest fucking tweets in the world. Fucking. Oh uh, uh, yeah, they're handy. Yeah. So like, it, it, literally, Twitter is like a. It's it's like like the the, the program made to bring out the inner truth uh, truth out of people. I mean, yeah. yeah, one more Ellen DeGeneres. I didn't read it. Oh, she, she's yeah. getting shitted on. I saw Jesus. that. She I, said she she knows what it's like to be in jail. It's like, bitch, you're in a bitch. huge mansion with your hot wife. Fuck off. I know. I didn't, she, I didn't, she you, said you, that. <laughs> yeah, she 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 tried to make a joke about her quarantining being what it must be like to be in jail, wow. and like people just went nuts. It's like you dumb wow. bitch, you dumb bitch. No, it's, it's stupid. There's a lot of celebrities who do shit like that. That's the first one that came to my mind, though. And I, I think, and then the what? number th uh, number yeah. three would be the out of all this number three. I think people need a break. Like uh, people, people could use people could just could use slow down. Yeah, and then, but people but people wouldn't slow down any other way. Like people would just tell people, "Yo, you gotta slow down. You're working too much. Like you work like 14 hours a day, dude. You gotta stop." And then this is this is what's gonna stop them. This is the only thing that stop them. So right. Wow. Well said. Well, I'll give my top three, and we'll end with Steve O. I'm sure he's got sure. some good points. Number one, I, obviously, pollution's great. You know. Uh, I think the lack of pollution is great. Number two, That's great. Question, man. number two, I have said this before. I think it's also very good because it makes people uh, disconnect from their boring everyday lives and realize what's really important. Bubble. You Wait know? the bubble. Yeah, it's more like you, you realize health and what you're putting into your body, who you're listening to, who you're no longer listening to, how much it changes, you know, health mentally and physically. It just... You're, you're, you're able to uh, not think in that fucking box of nine to five anymore and Really be in touch with yourself and listen to yourself, your inner chi or whatever that bullshit might be, you know? Fucking homo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, number, my, my number three is, uh, what do you call that? Oh, yeah, and it, number three sounds a little cruel, but I also put it this way. It makes me smile because I think we're kind of overpopulated. I'm not wishing any fatalities or anything upon anybody, but, you know, uh, survival of the fittest and it shows who really is strong who's mentally strong, physically strong. I'm not talking about surviving this. Like, you know, you have the people like Ellen DeGeneres. I don't know. I know, I know what it feels like to be in jail. Fuck that, you, you dumb know, dyke. Really? That, that's really, that's really, you're, you're breaking down because of that. Honestly, you're, you're, 
you're a bitch. You're a snowflake. Yeah. Like, like bitch, I got a friend that lives in a studio apartment in a pre-war walk-up with his fiance. You want to talk about struggle? Fuck you, yeah. Ellen. And I was gonna say, even for like the people, you know, I'm in Brooklyn, and half the people here, uh, they're not even here because they have the money to go away. You know, to to Florida. Oh, you're gonna say and, something yeah. so different. No, no, <laughs> no they they're not here. Half of them are away because number one, they're they have the money to go away, and they're like they're online typing. Oh my God, I'm a New Yorker. I'm proud. Stay strong. And fuck guess, you, bitch. And guess where they are? They're in West Hampton. They're in Palm Springs. They're in Tampa Bay. And I even I message back. I'm like, you're in Palm Springs. What do you mean we're staying strong? You're not staying strong. You're not even here. Fuck you. We out oh. here, baby. We out and, here. Yeah. And for the three of us, I'm three, still working. <laughs> three, three New Yorkers, yeah. one essential worker. We're still out here hustling, and we're not out there typing. Stay strong, because we are. No. <laughs> the subway is joke. right outside my building. <laughs> so what? No, what a joke. You know what? I'm gonna give out. I'm gonna give a shout out to Target. The employees has been gracious that they they've been helping me out a lot making right. my job a lot fucking easier because they put the because they put the packages in like in a simple spot i go there get the job done and then now 20 minutes and right. I, I love those guys i love those guys and uh, and then steve we'll lend on you man what's your three i think the top one um is that people finally realize and even like we all realize this but i think finally corporations and places that people work realize hey man you can't work people to the bone people realize what's actually important what we can do and i feel like work as we know it is going to change immensely from this worldwide considering how much shit we could do at home and all of that i think that's going to be great um number two obviously pollution that's great you know the world's healing in a way which it needed to do and like you said you know survival of the fittest man fuck if you got a pre-existing condition and you get sick you could die from anything. And if this rids the world of, let's say, a couple million people, yeah, it's sad, but it may not be the worst thing. Um, and number three, which arguably could have been my number one, um, I think we can, the whole world can come together and finally realize, fuck the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. I respect that. You know why? Because I recognize, say, let, me, let me say it louder for the people in the back that are listening. Taiwan and Hong Kong. Fuck you, China, you communist fucks. Winnie the Pooh and your fucking ugly ass wife. Fuck you. <laughs> Did you guys watch that WH show? The fucking guy. Like, oh, you, that, you, that have the fuck? you have the Asian reporter. That's like, so uh, what are you guys going to do about uh, helping out Taiwan? And it was like, and the guy is just complete fucking silent. I'm like, yeah. That's because they're run by the like, Chinese. And then, I don't know, but so, so she kind of like, you know, went another way saying the question Boop, fucking video goes out i was like you dumb bitch i'm like no, that's, that's not even true man remember he, she she goes she she asked the question oh i'm sorry i didn't hear your question can you please restate it please yeah that was the first time that was the first time and you see him reach when you see him reach you go wow you know the best part about that was though you got fired right no she was found dead suicided double tap back of the head Oh, okay. Yeah, what? Yeah, the, yeah, the Cl- yeah, the Clintons did it. <laughs> Ooh, is that true? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, moving on. Dalai Lama, you got a topic today, man. You've been busy. Oh, uh, what the hell do you want to talk about? So, what, what I ran in today was that they're going to make a reboot of a show made in 1989 for all the people who were alive during that time. Well, I was born that year. <laughs> You've probably seen the show. Dr. Doogie Howser, MD. Like, uh, the visual show was starred by the show, uh, by uh, Neil Patrick Harris, who MPH. a lot of people, Yeah, a lot of people know him. What, what, what was that sitcom, guys? That, that sitcom he used to be in? How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. As he, he was sex crazed lunatic. Even though he wasn't in real life, he isn't. But, anyways. <laughs> no, he was. He's just, he's just a gay sex crazed lunatic. He's now married <laughs> with two kids. Fake okay. news. <laughs> So what are we talking about, Doogie? So um, the, the, the reboot uh, will, will star a 16-year-old, half-Asian, half-white female lead. Pass. Female <laughs> lead. Hard and, pass. And this new show is going to be called Doogie Kialoha MB. So it's, it's Hawaiian. Hard pass. 
definitely hot fast. Is she uh, also then, is she also a transsexual man and a woman and like what the fuck else can they throw in that? Is she also a dyke? Like holy well, shit! No, 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 no. She might either have two two fa- uh, two fathers or two mothers. <laughs> Are you f- oh my god what no 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 no, 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 that's fake news, that's fake news. <laughs> that's fake news. <laughs> well i was gonna say how is that a reboot when how is a half asian half white girl named doogie and number two why would they name how, her doogie yeah and, and how is that I, I, yeah how think, is that I a think, reboot like it's not a reboot it's not doogie hauser md it's doogie come doogie on i want to lay it md you know yeah yeah but i think um well i guess it's a come on i want to layer that's good that's good <laughs> but it's the only hawaiian name i know you know come on well, i want to lay it <laughs> i know yokozuna akabono the famous uh, <laughs> wrestler <laughs> yeah the famous the sumo wrestler yeah. bonsai <laughs> <laughs> so when is this scheduled to be released? I'm sure they've already filmed it before the coronavirus, right? Hopefully the world ends before well, that. It's made by, <laughs> <laughs> it's made by uh, uh, 20th Century Fox. Mm. And pretty really? much. Uh, this is a and that's Fox it. But, 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 the, uh, rumor has it, because I was looking at another website, rumor has it that Dookie Hauser is the father. So, eh. I still, no. I, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm still with Steve. It's definitely a hard pass. I hate when they do this shit. They do this shit a lot where they, they'll do a remake and it's complete fucking shit. And then you give it a chance and he's like, oh, it's sh- the writing shit too. You, you like watch one episode. It's like, dude, this shit's not taking off, man. Fuck that shit. What? Like it's it's, it's, it's going to be on Fox, you said? Uh, no, it's, it's the 20th Century Fox. It's the one that's producing it. That's the uh, production okay. company. Oh, oh, actually, oh, the, 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 it's going to be on Disney+. Plus. That's what, uh, that's what it's going to be. Oh. Mm. So it's going to be one of those. Yeah, definitely hard pass for me. Dude. It's kind of like Fuller oh. House. I tried to watch one episode of Fuller House. I'm like, oh, why would you wanna... waste your time? Well, you know, it was the nostalgia feel. So I said, let me watch one episode. Never is I, good. I turned it off so quickly. I, I watched that whole episode after that. I vowed never to watch it again. I stand correct. No, it's but... always so bad. Yeah, I it, never it, watched it, it, those it is over. Well, th- here's the other fact that many people don't talk about. Doogie Hauser was not a good show. No. It, it really wasn't. Like, that you would sit down. Shit. Dalai Lama, you and I are around the same generation. We're about the yeah, same age. Like, Doogie Hauser was always playing in our afternoon TV shows. And the only reason why we watched it was the it is after because, school special shit. Yeah, we, we no, would no, rather I, I, watch I watched it. it as, like, you know, remember, like, you know, syndication? It's pretty much, I, I watched it as pretty much. Uh, it was a cult I, I, classic. Yeah, shitty cult yeah, but, classic. It wasn't good. It <laughs> wasn't good. If you go back and try to watch the original Doogie Hauser, you're just like, what did I waste my time on? Well, not to mention, who the, would you let a 16 year old little skinny white dude fucking operate go, on go. you? Fuck oh, you. Get oh, the fuck too. out of that's here, true. Poindexter. Well, I do remember one fuck episode. Out of here with that, bullshit. They, that kind of happened, not with the, uh, the older vulgarities. It was more like, Who's this young whippersnapper telling me what to do? He's barely enough. He's oh. barely old enough to buy himself a drink. <laughs> There's nothing worse than network television. My children are older bullshit. than him. You know, that's what I said. Yeah. yeah. It's like, fuck off with this bullshit. And there were several really bad, you know, reboots, and they just need to stay away. They just stay away. Leave Doogie Hauser alone. It, it should stay back there because it was bad back then. They don't it's have just any bad. ideas. They're all out of ideas. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, nothing like, else to do you know what i actually want to watch like i, I don't I'm, it's not really considered a reboot i want to watch a sonic the hedgehog movie but it's a movie that's not yeah, a reboot that's at all yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but, but like usually what, what i used to remember is like like you know movies based off of video games usually always suck but people like like i heard fucking uh jim carrey kicked it kicked it out of park of playing dr robotnik that's pretty good shit yeah, but I also I'll, I'll wait till it's on Hard HBO. Hard pass. No, yeah, me too. Not... No, no, no. no I'll, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll watch it. Not in the movie theater. Oh, well, we can't watch it in the movie theater. Right? What was it? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag we'll, quarantine. We'll, well, they they yeah. may never open AMC. I yeah, saw AMC thing today. Yeah, AMC yeah. is probably going to go get bankrupt. We're going to lose movie theaters. We we most likely will no longer have movie theaters in this country, only for special releases. And oh, well, I'd just never like go anyway, just like Steve O just did shoulder shrug, because the way to make money now in that is just to release it direct to the consumer, yeah. and make them pay for your services. You but know, this, and that's you, it. You know, you know, back in the day, movie theaters, movie theaters, and like in the in the eighties and nineties, used to be more relevant because your TVs used to really suck back in the day. Like people used to have a twenty-two inch television if you had money. 
You know, like if yeah. you had a 32 inch television, that was amazing in the 80s 55, and 90s. 55, doggy, 55 yeah. inch. Right See, there. That's, that's, the right there. See <laughs> that's the future right there. And it's not only that. Do you really want to be? It? Yeah. Do you want to be inconvenienced in the movie theater anymore? When I go, went to go see Black Panther, great movie. I had a great time. Hung out with yeah. my boy Bobby. We caught up, but everybody around us talking shit on their cell phones, making noise, talking during the movie. Well, was like, it was also yeah. Black Panther. What do you expect? <laughs> Like, I mean, not to be that guy, but <laughs> come on. That's like I went to no, go see. Argue. I went to go see. I'll never forget. I went to go see in high school, um, Fifty Cent's movie Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah. And I went with my buddy, one of my best friends at the time. Uh, his name was Carl. And shout out to Carl Brunner. He was actually he was just. You may have seen his uh, him and his wife. They just became. Um, uh, TikTok famous on um, they were the, the the interracial couple that did like some elevator dance in the mirror where they cool. like fell different levels. If nice. I find it, I'll show it to you. Yeah, regardless, nice. that's cool. Regardless, me and his twin sister Brittany went to see the movie when it came out that night. Sold out theater. We were the three only white people in the theater. And it was like Showtime at the Apollo. It was amazing. One of the best times I've ever you know, had. You know what? You know what? I go to movie theater for that because I would just, <laughs> I would just enjoy. Because you know, I, you know what it is? Oh. You know what it is? A lot, a lot of black people are the best black people. They're the best in the movie theater. <laughs> Dude, there's a scene the where... I'm fucking happy. The room is full of happiness. I went to see Saw 3. I went, it was me and my buddy and these two girls. It was in high school. So like we were like kind of like talking to them, whatever. So we went to the movies. And there's a scene where the contraption rips the guy's rib cage in half and he's then hanging there and his ribs are out on the side like this, just dangling as he's dead. And there's a black dude sitting in front of me. He turned, he just, I'll never forget it. He's sitting there and the rib cage goes flying. He goes, God damn. He goes, <laughs> He goes, I'm just screaming. He goes, I am never going to be able to eat ribs again. Damn. <laughs> the place went nuts. The place went nuts. That's, oh, beautiful. that's, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful oh, thing. That's, that's classic, dude. So like good. So good. All right. The black, black people have the best takes. <laughs> mm-hmm. they, they do. No, it's they the do. best one-liners in the world, man. I don't fucking love that shit. That's why I go to worldstarhiphop.com every day. Check what's, what's going on. <laughs> Well, I had I, I had to keep it real. We got to move on. Okay, so yeah, yeah. You ready? You ready for the the next topic that I didn't share with you guys? And you know, I, we, we there was little bits of discussions here and there, but I'm gonna go to Dalai Lama first. Dalai Lama, did you feel the burn this week? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt the burn <laughs> in my wallet. <laughs> what do you What do you think of? Uh, presidential candidate bernie sanders finally leaving after all this time and literally handing the nomination to joe biden on wednesday i think it was it pretty much did you know what's you know what's yeah. fucking weird about that shit though like he's out but he you can still vote for him which makes no fucking sense so it's like but he's Wait, out I, 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 as far as far as far as i'm concerned that guy's out that that, that, that guy's out um that's one communist down uh, <laughs> fuck <laughs> communism <laughs> fucking red fuck bastards you. the first thing i said was listen kids socialism does not work socialism kills here's the proof hey james no. hey james that was the best 50 bucks i ever spent in my life <laughs> that's right you- <laughs> <laughs> first of I, all, I, 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 I want i want to lose that bet i want to lose that bet <laughs> i remember when we made that bet you actually said this is one of the bets that I wouldn't mind losing. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you. I was like, shit. I was like, I was like, I was like, please, please do this. Number please. one, I'm still very shocked that my choice of Joe Biden actually came through. With yeah, all the shit, I, I was like, I oh, oh, that's my, uh, that's my sister. Oh wait, that's my wife. Oh, like this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> you have <laughs> he's did that on stage in front of people. I'm like, you, what is, is that the best you could do? We're watching. You, you, they literally, there literally is a candidate out there he, who's going to be running against Donald Trump that rambles oh. nonstop and does not complete sentences. He speaks in fragments, He's, and it's, he has dementia. It's scared dementia. Like it's he scary. has dementia. He has to. Yeah, oh, he definitely does. The way that he's he's making sentences, the way that he's speaking, he's jumping from topic to cop topic. He's kind of like all over the place. 
He's got de- he's got this early stages of dementia at the minimum. I wouldn't even say early. Isn't he like eighty? That's Something? why I said that. That's why. <laughs> that's why I said early at the minimum. Oh, he's out of his goddamn mind. Uh, I just I just I, find it insane. Top, on top of that, this motherfucker's getting me too, dude. And that's a nice yeah, story. Yeah, everybody slapped that under reason. the rung. What, what's her name? That's that the, dumb bitch, Alyssa yeah, that's, Milano. That's the big thing I was gonna bring up too. I'm like, Alyssa Milano went out and and with Brett Kavanaugh, who had zero indictable zero indictable evidence against him zero just the recollection of this woman's uh the the the, the, the recollection of the of that evening from this one woman where there wasn't a single witness her own friends her own no. people that came to testify on her behalf said no we don't know that did not happen she didn't yeah. know how she got there she didn't know how she left all she knew was that he was on top of her because she remembers his face. That was the only proof there was. And we went through this entire thing. That's just trash. based on her. And Alyssa Milano goes out there and screams, you got to believe her. Hashtag me too. Yeah, you believe know? all women yeah. except the one that's calling Joe Biden out. Oh, exactly. believe, all women unle- believe all women unless they're Republican. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> that's just like, fucking reason. That's I, such a bold <laughs> bullshit statement. You can't believe yeah. anybody. Like that's and such then, a bullshit statement. She was screaming, "We, ha- you have to believe all women, but it should not mean that we should take, we should get rid of the due process of some men." So I, technically, some what men. what she said, what she's saying Fuck is technically, you, she, what she's saying, Joe Thank Biden, it. Joe Biden made her discover due process and the American court system. I don't uh. fucking know. This is the same guy. This is a, this is also the same guy who has a fucking montage on the fucking internet with him sniffing little girls and shit. So I'm like, times, yo, what dude. the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm like, if anybody's guilty, he's not a motherfucker's guilty. <laughs> Jesus this, Christ! This, man. this video evidence, and with this one woman saying, "He touched me. He raped me. These charges happened in the, in the 1990s." Uh, well, where's Alyssa Milano now? No, I still support him. Yeah, she probably still supports Jesse Smollett. Fuck you, you yeah, dumb no, uh, bitch. You Juicy know, Somalia. I, I think right. somebody in the Me Too movement actually called her out on that. Thank God. At the very least, like, from what I heard. No, everybody I was, should be calling her out. Yeah, that. they should, right. though. I, I, I want more people to be calling yeah. that bitch out. Because well, they're, they're, like, they're all spineless like, cucks. On, on top of that, though, why is Billis of Milano on the loose? She's like, what was the last two things she did great? Uh, uh, who's the boss and fucking the charmed? Boss? Yeah, but Fuck she, off. She, she, she's oh, she done was a, on that? She's yeah, done she a lot. Trump, of, yeah. yeah, she also does a lot of stuff with uh, Major League Baseball's women's yeah, uh, fashion. Yeah, I've seen her with like the oh, LA Dodger oh, shirts. Uh, I remember that. Yeah, she does a lot of uh, Major League Baseball women's. Well, stuff. they just fire her. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> But you also you also need a season for that to happen too. I know, I know. <laughs> that's, uh, that's that's pouring salt on all of our wounds. But you know, how dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> how dare I? How I'm dare drinking you? out of a Yankees cup. <laughs> how dare hey, you? And I got my Mets cup. <laughs> and I have Coors Light. Yeah. <laughs>